the space industry has a dirty little secret, one that's hiding behind all the shiny rockets and spectacular launches. Not just millions, not even billions, but trillions of dollars. And the numbers reveal a story that changes everything we think we know about Mars colonization. Today, I'm breaking down the financial blueprint that could turn Mars from a billionaire's dream into humanity's next home. And trust me, what the numbers tell us isn't what anyone expected. Let me show you something interesting. Back in the 1960s, the entire Apollo program cost about $280 billion in today's money. Seems like a lot, right? Well, that was just to get a few humans to the moon for a couple of days. Mars? That's a whole different game. See, when we talk about Mars colonization, most people think it's just about building bigger rockets. But that's like saying building a city is just about having bigger trucks. The reality? It's way more complex and way more expensive. Let's break down where all this money actually needs to go, because this is where things get wild. First up, transportation infrastructure. And I'm not just talking about Starship. Think about it. To build a city on Mars, you need regular flights. Lots of them. We're talking about hundreds of launches, each costing around $100 million minimum. But here's the really crazy part. The rockets are actually the cheap part. Yeah, you heard that right. The real costs? They're hidden in places nobody's talking about. Take life support systems. On Earth, we get air, water, and protection per radiation for free. On Mars, every single breath needs to be manufactured. Every drop of water needs to be processed. Every square foot needs to be shielded from radiation that would kill you in weeks. Let me put this in perspective. The International Space Station, which sits in low Earth orbit, costs about $3 billion per year just to keep running. That's with regular resupply missions from Earth, established systems, and tons of support from ground control. Now imagine trying to do that on Mars, where help is six months away, at best. But Mars? We're looking at decades before any real return on investment, maybe even generations. This isn't just long-term thinking, it's ultra-long-term thinking. And here's where it gets really fascinating. SpaceX is a private company, right? They need to make money. But the traditional business models we use on Earth just don't work for Mars colonization. Think about it. Who are your customers when you're building a civilization from scratch? This leads us to the hidden economic engine that could actually make Mars colonization possible. And it's not what you think. Everyone focuses on mining resources or developing new technologies. But the real value, it's in something completely different. It's in intellectual property. Every single problem we solve for Mars creates solutions we can use on Earth. Think about it. If you can figure out how to grow food in a radiation-soaked desert with toxic soil, you can grow food anywhere on Earth. If you can recycle 99.9% .9 of your water on Mars, you can solve water shortages here. But here's where it gets really wild. The biggest costs aren't even in the hardware, they're in the biology. Yeah, you heard that right, biology. Because here's something nobody's talking about. Humans aren't designed for Mars. Our bones weaken in low gravity. Our muscles atrophy. Our bodies weren't built for this. So what's the solution? This is where we get into some seriously sci-fi territory, except it's real. We're talking about genetic engineering, biological enhancement, and medical breakthroughs that could change what it means to be human. And this is where the real money comes in. Because every single breakthrough needed for Mars, it has applications on Earth worth billions cancer treatment. The radiation protection systems developed for Mars could revolutionize it. Edging? The biological enhancements needed for long-term space travel could help us live longer, healthier lives. But there's a catch, a big one. All these developments need massive upfront investment. We're talking about the biggest research and development project in human history. And here's where Elon's brilliant plan comes into focus. See, everyone thinks SpaceX is just a rocket company. But that's not the whole story. What they're really building is a technology development engine. Every launch, every test, every failure, it's all generating patents, innovations, and technologies that can be licensed and sold. 
Let me show you how this actually works. Take Starship's heat shield tiles. SpaceX had to develop new materials that could withstand extreme temperatures while being lightweight and durable. Those same materials. They have applications in everything from firefighting equipment to industrial furnaces. Or consider their life support systems. The carbon capture technology needed to produce oxygen on Mars. That same technology could be worth billions in fighting climate change on Earth. The water recycling systems? They could solve water scarcity in desert regions. But here's where it gets really interesting. The biggest potential payoff isn't in the technology at all. It's in real estate. Yeah, you heard that right. Real estate. On Mars. Think about it. Earth's real estate market is worth hundreds of trillions of dollars. Now imagine being the first company to develop habitable land on an entire new planet. We're not just talking about building houses, we're talking about creating an entire property market from scratch. And this leads us to the most fascinating part of the whole equation, the legal framework. Because right now there's no clear law about who owns what on Mars. The Outer Space Treaty prevents nations from claiming territorial sovereignty, but it doesn't say anything about private ownership. But there's another angle nobody's talking about, the entertainment value. Right now, space content generates billions in revenue. Movies, documentaries, streaming rights, people are fascinated by space exploration. Now imagine having exclusive rights to broadcast from the first Mars colony. The numbers here are staggering. The Olympics typically generates about $4 billion in revenue. A Mars landing? That could dwarf those numbers. We're talking about potentially the most watched event in human history. This brings us to the hidden timeline nobody's discussing. See, while everyone's focused on when the first humans will land on Mars, the real question is, when does this whole thing start paying for itself? And this is where SpaceX's strategy gets really clever. They're not just building one revenue stream, they're building dozens. Launch services, satellite internet, technology licensing, entertainment rights, and eventually, Mars real estate and resources. But here's the most mind-blowing part. All of this depends on solving problems we've never faced before. How do you build a banking system for Mars? What's the exchange rate between Earth and Mars currencies? How do you handle time zones when a day is 24 minutes and 37 seconds longer? These aren't just technical problems, they're economic ones, and they're going to require entirely new financial systems and economic models. We're not just talking about building a colony, we're talking about building an entire economy from scratch. This leads us to the biggest secret of all, the real reason why Mars colonization is going to happen, despite the massive costs. It's not about the technology, it's not about the resources, it's not even about becoming a multi-planetary species. It's about creating the biggest economic expansion in human history. Think about it, every major economic boom in history has been driven by expanding into new territories. The age of exploration, the industrial revolution, the digital revolution, they all opened up new frontiers for economic growth. Mars isn't just another frontier, it's the ultimate frontier. It's an entire planet waiting to be developed. And while the initial costs are astronomical, the potential returns are literally out of this world. Hit subscribe to discover more hidden secrets about space exploration and the future of humanity.